Hello friends, my name is Deepak Kaldone and you are welcome to our channel Forensic Search. In this video, we will see Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. So in this video, we will discuss about the what is wildlife, then what is Wildlife Protection Act, different provisions of this Wildlife Protection Act and some basic questions based on this Wildlife Protection Act. So this video will be helpful for the preparation of scientific assistant examination, then net GRF examination of biological science as well as forensic science and other important competitive examinations. So let's start this video from the introduction of wildlife. What is wildlife? Generally, wildlife means any non-domesticated animal or plant found wild in nature. That means non-domesticated animal or any plant which are found wild in nature are known as wildlife. Scientifically, the definition of wildlife is given as per section 2, subsection 37 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, which includes, that means the definition include, wildlife includes any animal, aquatic or land vegetation, which forms part of any habitat. That means as a conservative animal, aquatic or any land vegetation, which forms a part of any particular habitation or habitat. That animals are known as wildlife. That means in this definition, wildlife means not only animals, but it includes plants also. So this is the definition of wildlife according to section 2, subsection 37 of Wildlife Protection Act. Now say, India has forest policy since 1894 and it was revised in 1952-1988 and again in 2018. What is the aim of this Wildlife Protection Act? This Wildlife Protection Act was enacted for the safeguard and protection of the wildlife that is flora and fauna in the country. The Indian Parliament enacted the Wildlife Protection Act in 1972 and this act was enacted on 9 September 1972. This act is applicable throughout India. Latest amendments in this act was done in the year 2013 and 2006, which provides stringent punishment for hunting of scheduled animals. So, for the prevention of this hunting of scheduled animals and for the safeguards and the protection of wildlife, that is plants and animals, this Indian government enacted this Wildlife Protection Act on 9 September 1972. They say what is the need for the Wildlife Protection Act? Basically, day by day wildlife crimes are increasing tremendously and that causes a drastic decrease in the flora and fauna which disturbs the ecological balance and affecting many aspects of climate and the ecosystem. As well as for the effective control of poaching and illegal trade in wildlife and its derivatives. And most important is the need of our is to save our precious wildlife and forest to maintain ecological balance. That's why this is the need for the Wildlife Protection Act. Now say, what are the wildlife crimes? Basically, wildlife crimes can be defined as taking, possession, trade or movement, processing, consumption of wild animals and plants or their derivatives in contravention of any international, national or regional legislation. All these constitutes the wildlife crimes. Basically, whenever the poacher kill the wildlife animals, they take out some organs such as hair, skin, claws, ivory, horns, bones, etc. As well as certain plants are there 
the illegal transaction of that plants is also done so these are the some important wildlife crimes then national board for wildlife to promote the conservation and development of wildlife and forests the national board for wildlife was constituted as a statutory organization under the provisions of wildlife protection act and basically the chairperson of this national board of wildlife is prime minister and the vice chairperson of this board is minister in charge of forest and wildlife similarly in the states it is a state board for wildlife and the jurisdiction of this board is in a particular state and chairperson of this state board for wildlife is the chief minister of that concerned state and vice chairperson is the minister in charge of forest and wildlife of that concerning state so this national board for wildlife as well as state board for wildlife are established to promote the conservation and development of wildlife and forests then according to this wildlife protection act there are some provisions for example the constitution of central zoo authority it is constituted under the section 38a of wildlife protection act as well as constitution of national tiger conservation authority will be constituted under section 38l of wildlife protection act and most important is constitution of tiger and other endangered species crime control bureau will be constituted under section 38y of this wildlife protection act according to this constitution and some other legislation in our india project tiger was initiated in the year 1973 for the conservation of this tiger and other endangered species similarly lots of project was initiated by the government of india for the conservation and for the protection of precious wildlife now say wildlife protection act 1972 basically this act created six important schedules now see what are these schedules schedule first covers endangered species what are the endangered species we will see in the next slide in this slide we will see only the what are the different schedules and what constitute under these different schedules so schedule first covers endangered species then schedule second contains high protected animals then third schedule and fourth schedule is concerned about not endangered animals then the schedule fifth contains animals that can be hunted and the last schedule that is schedule 6 is concerning about plants forbidden for cultivation so these are the different six schedules of wildlife protection act 1972 here one important thing is as per section 2 sub section 36 of wildlife protection act wild animals means any animal specified in the schedule first to fourth and found wild in nature that means yahan pe there are schedule 1 to 6 schedules but wild animals means the animals which is included in schedule 1 schedule 2 schedule 3 and schedule 4 and that animal can be found wild in nature such animals are known as wild animals the schedule fifth contains the animal that can be hunted and schedule six is for the plants for forbidden for cultivations so these are some important schedules and the important animals now see schedule one says the species of endangered so what are the different endangered species in india for example cheetah then indian elephant four horn antelope leopard lion tiger wild hash wolf lion tail macaque peacock etc 
are some important places which are protected in schedule 1 then schedule second is high protected animals so these animals are assamese makaku salamander chamelon common langur wild dog or dole then schedule third animals are barking deer cheetah hyena sambar and wild pig these are the not endangered animals then schedule fourth animal contains indian porcupine then cuckoos duck doves and snakes then the schedule fifth animal contains common crow fruit bats mice rats etc and the last schedule that is schedule six contains plants which are forbidden for cultivation and some example of this schedule six plants blue vanda or red vanda then pitcher plants etc so according to wildlife protection act schedule one schedule two schedule third and schedule fourth animals are known as wildlife animals and the hunting of these animals is prevented by this wildlife protection act then say some important sections of this wildlife protection act out of which important section is section 9 that is hunting this section describes what constitutes hunting and the intent to hunt hunting wild animals of schedule first schedule second schedule third and schedule fourth is prohibited under section 9 of wildlife protection act 1972 then the next important section is section 17c that is the cultivation of pesticide plants without license prohibited in india there are some plants which cannot be cultivated without the license so these plants are mentioned under section 17c of wildlife protection act then next one is section 27 restricts any entry in sanctuary there are in india some preserved area that is sanctuary then national parks etc so this section 27 restricts any person in such sanctuaries then next section is section 30 that deals with causing fire in a sanctuary is prohibited by this section 30 then next important section is ownership that is section 40 and 42 this section deals with regarding ownership issues and trade licenses for example suppose any area or any plant is taken by any person that is known as ownership and this ownership will be not transferred to another party also regarding issues to trade license so this section 40 and 42 deals with the ownership and the transfer of this ownership then the next section that is important one that is section 44 which deals in trophy and animal articles without license is prohibited under this section there are some wildlife articles or wildlife trophies these articles or trophies are prohibited under section 44 of this wildlife protection act then the important section is deals with the penalties for wildlife crimes this section that is under this section enforcement can be performed by agencies such as the forest department of particular state or central then wildlife crime control bureau then custom departments and the central bureau of investigation that is cbi such enforcement are dealings with the wildlife crimes and what are the punishment for these crimes so there is a provision of punishment that is from minimum three years imprisonment to maximum imprisonment of seven years and the maximum fine up to 25,000 are both and by latest amendment the maximum fine will be up to 25 lakh so in any wildlife crime the provision of punishment is from three years to seven years imprisonment and fine from 25,000 to 25 lakh 
or both that is fine and imprisonment is there for the wildlife crimes so these are the some important sections of wildlife protection act 1972 then what are the constitutional provisions for the wildlife in india or in our constitution is there any constitutional provision for uh, wildlife so the answer of this question is so see what are the some constitutional provision out of which article 48a of indian constitution that is directive principles of state policy directs the state to protect and improve the environment and the safeguards of wildlife and forests so this is one of the most important article in our indian constitution then next article is article 51 a of indian constitution that is the fundamental duties so it shall be a duty of every citizen of india to protect and improve the natural environment including forests lakes rivers and wildlife to have compassion for living creatures so it is the duty of every citizen of india to protect our precious wildlife and other forest lakes rivers so these are the some important provisions for the wildlife in our constitution of india now say some important questions based on this wildlife protection act 1972 the first question is in india wildlife protection act was enacted on option a 22nd april 1972 option b 21st march 1972 option c 5th june 1972 and option d is 9th september 1972 basically all these dates are concerning with forest environment or wildlife out of which the correct answer of this question that is in india the wildlife protection act was enacted on 9th september 1972 22 april is celebrated as earth day then 5 june is celebrated at celebrated as environment day then the next question is definition of wildlife is given in dash dash section of wildlife protection act 1972 options a is section 1 sub section 37 option b section 2 sub section 37 option c section 3 sub section 37 and option d section 4 sub section 37 so the correct answer of this question is option b that is definition of wildlife is given in section 2 sub section 37 of wildlife protection act then the next question is in india the chairperson of national board for wildlife is option a prime minister option b finance minister option c forest and wildlife minister and option d environment minister so the correct answer of this question is not option c that is forest and wildlife minister instead of it the correct answer of this question is option a that is the prime minister is the chairperson of national board for wildlife and the vice chairperson is the forest and wildlife minister then the next question is national tiger conservation authority is constituted under dash dash section of wildlife protection act option a 33l option b 25m option c 38l and option d 40l so the correct answer of this question is option c that is under section 38l the national tiger conservation authority is constituted then the next question how many schedules are there in wildlife protection act 1972 option a 5 option b 6 option c 7 and option d 10 so correct answer of this question is option b that is in wildlife protection act there are 6 schedules the next question is endangered species are placed in dash dash schedules of wildlife protection act 1972 option a schedule 1 option b schedule 
ऑप्शन सी शेड्यूल थर्ड एंड ऑप्शन डी शेड्यूल फोर तो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन ए दट इज फर्स्ट शेड्यूल कंटेन्स द इंडेंजर पेशेज देन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एज पर सेक्शन टू सब सेक्शन थर्टी सिक्स ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट वाइल्ड एनिमल्स मीन्स एनी एनिमल स्पेसिफाइड इन शेड्यूल्स डैश 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 विच फाउंड वाइल्ड इन नेचर ऑप्शन ए शेड्यूल वन टू शेड्यूल सिक्स ऑप्शन बी शेड्यूल वन टू शेड्यूल फोर्थ ऑप्शन सी शेड्यूल सेकेंड टू शेड्यूल सिक्स एंड ऑप्शन डी शेड्यूल थर्ड टू शेड्यूल सिक्स तो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑप्शन बी दैट इज शेड्यूल वन टू शेड्यूल फोर एनिमल्स आर नोन एज वाइल्ड एनिमल्स द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अकॉर्डिंग टू वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट नाइनटीन Hunting wild animals is prohibited under dash dash section of this law. Option A, section nine. Option B, section thirteen. Option B, section seventeen. And option D, section thirty. So the correct answer of this question is option A. That is under section nine, the hunting of animals is prohibited under section nine of Wildlife Protection Act. The next question is. In India, enforcement agencies dealing with wildlife crimes is or are option A, Forest Department; option B, Wildlife Crime Control Bureau, that is WCCB; then option C, Central Bureau of Investigation, that is CBI; and option D, all of the above. So the correct answer of this question is all of the above. In India, Forest Department, Wildlife. crime control bureau as well as cbi are dealing with wildlife crimes the next question is high protected animals are placed in dash dash schedules of wildlife protection act 1972 option a first schedule option b second schedule option c third schedule and option d fourth schedule so the correct answer of this question is option b that is second schedule contains high protected animals so friends these are some important questions based on this wildlife protection act thanks for watching our channel forensic search thank you